What's up, you guys? It's Adana. Welcome back to my channel. So, you guys, I am tired. I know I look tired. I look a little rough. I'm sorry, y'all, but I had to make the video for you guys. I am 24 hours post, I guess, call in a sense. Um, I just worked my first 24-hour shift ever uh and it was pretty interesting and so i was like let me talk to you guys about it and share this with you guys um because that's what these rotations and clinical rotations is all about so that's what we're going to be talking about today but before we get to that if you haven't already done so go ahead and subscribe to my channel right now and follow me on instagram at adana the pa so you guys 24 hours in the trauma bay. Now, obviously it's not like a full 24 hours in terms of I'm not sleeping at all for 24 hours. No, there's a call room specifically for the PA students, which is really cool because, you know, there's usually just one PA student working overnight at a time. So that's really nice because you have like this little apartment to yourself with a little bed and you know you have a bathroom in there so you don't have to leave your room really for anything so that was cool and you know if you're bored or something sure you can study mostly you just kind of want to sleep because your shift starts from 7 a.m the prior day so i went in at 7 a.m on thursday i came out 7 a.m on well a little after 7 on friday and it was interesting throughout the shift initially during my day shift it wasn't like super busy we had some traumas come in early and then there was like a lull of traumas and then we had traumas again come in and you're only really in the trauma bay when there's trauma going on so initially all of your trauma patients that were in the bay and are now on the floor there's a floor trauma PA and then there's the trauma bay trauma PA who kind of triages the initial traumas that come in. So if a trauma is called overhead, like I have to go down with the trauma bay PA and we assess the patient and you have to take everything off of them. You have to like completely undress these people to make sure that your assessment is done well. Like you're looking at every part of their body to see is there anything going on is are there any bruises or any hematomas forming because that could be an indication of uh, you know some type of broken bone or injury so we do all of that and you know we try to ask them questions to kind of get the gcs to see where they're at and then immediately they get it you know an iv place we send labs off uh we take them to this cat scan and then we come oh and we get x X-rays. So we get x-rays first immediately as well and then you take them to casket and then you come back and that's when you can go through and like you know clean up whatever needs to be cleaned up and suture whatever needs to be sutured which is where I come in um, because I suture up pretty much most of pretty much all of the traumas that have come in so far on my shift I've sutured them up which I love because my next rotation is general surgery um, but that's just typically the day um, of me as a trauma PA student um, the trauma PA kind of does the same thing of obviously they're putting in orders and they're doing a lot more they're consulting with different specialties and asking ortho to come down because a lot of our traumas are like motorcycle accidents or um, you know motor vehicle accidents so that's that's pretty much the day initially but as you're going to the night so after you've passed like those first I guess 16 or so hours that's when it starts to go downhill <laughs> so I had like a long break maybe like a couple hours of no trauma and then like boom traumas hit and it's not just one trauma it's two traumas and it's not just level twos which is you know your initial like serious traumas level one traumas which are like there's something serious serious going on like you gown up because you don't like there's so much blood everywhere usually in a level one trauma so the those come through and you do what you needed to do so last night there was quite a few well I mean on my sh so on my ship there was you know quite a few traumas it was pretty interesting because like just how these doctors and these PA work 
it's like amazing. And then everybody else, because it's really a team effort, the nurses, the radiologists, um, you know, even anesthesia comes down for level ones because you don't know if somebody might need um, airway protection. So it's a pretty interesting rotation. I went back up to my little apartment, as I call it, at around 10, and then um, two traumas came in, uh, like maybe around 12, and then I finished up with them and went back up to the apartment around two no around 1 30 close to two but 1 30 and then i got to sleep for like two hours three hours and then two more traumas came in to you know like they were like stabbings or something like that and it was pretty interesting because like they both came in at the same time again and so you're you're swamped so both pas have to come down and usually um in the night time the pas try to switch off so that one can get rest and then the other one, you know, can work and, and you switch off as the traumas are called. Um, but since there's only one of me and I'm trying to get the most of this experience, I go down to all of them. Uh, so I'm really tired. <laughs> I'm like extremely tired. I just woke up like I came home. I was feeling really good um, because, you know, I got a little bit of rest. I got a lot of stuff done initially and then close to like 1030. I crashed. I was so tired. And I woke up maybe around 1.50. So your day is kind of shot depending on, you know, how hard your night was. But the beauty of it is that you don't have to work for another two, three days because um, I don't have to go to work again until, well, f next week. I don't have to go to work again until Monday. And then I won't have to go to work again until Thursday. So it's really, really a cool experience. And I mean, if any of you are interested in that rotation, I, like in terms of, you know, experiencing that for yourselves, I definitely suggest you jump on it. You initially hear like 24 hours and you're like, no, I don't want to do that. Like I want my rest. But it's not 24 hours in the sense that you're not sleeping at all. You just have to be on call and be ready and be prepared for anything. So take every opportunity that you get to experience these because you never know what you're going to like and you never know when you're going to be able to experience it so note to self every opportunity that you get go for it okay all right you guys so i'm still tired i think i'm gonna go lay down a little bit more because i have like a slight headache now <laughs> but i definitely wanted to share this with you guys if you have any questions about anything else with respect to my trauma rotation leave that in the comment section below and um talk to you guys next time i really appreciate all that you guys are doing with supporting me in this channel and um please continue to follow me on instagram at adana the pa all right bye did you see that that wasn't even really like a, that was like a tired bye you guys okay let's try that again all right bye